Chagas disease is the highest impact parasitic disease in the Americas, and it's primarily affecting around 10 million people in Central and South America, but it's also endemic to the United States, where it infects uh, an estimated 300,000 people. And it's a disease of poverty and poverty promoting. People tend to get infected young and uh, progressively develop disease uh, over their early adult life during their uh, peak uh, productive period of life. Pathogen dormancy, as we see in T. cruzi infection, is becoming recognized as a major factor in resistance to drug treatment for a number of agents of human and animal disease. So the um, Current treatment protocol of using benzonidazole, the drug we used in this study, calls for uh, twice daily dosing for 60 consecutive days. But it has uh, less than a 30% success rate in curing individuals and, and as a result is, is not widely used. We found that by increasing the standard uh, dose at one time to two and a half to five times the normal dose, but giving it only once a week was effective in providing 100% cure rates. Light sheet fluorescent microscopy has been applied to a wide range of uh, uh, biomedical and life science uh, research questions. Um, we're currently using it to uh, not just monitor parasite uh, numbers and tissues, but also to look at the interaction of the host immune response to those parasites and to track that interaction over time. So this is a, a heart, a complete uh, reconstructed heart that's infected with two different strains of T. cruzi. One that's, uh, the, each strain is marked with a different fluorescent marker. And so you can see how these two strains infect different portions of the heart. So you see uh, in more or less in the middle of the slide here, multiple cells that have recently released parasites and those parasites are going to invade other cells. And each one of these uh, fluorescent images here, whether they're uh, blue or red, uh, is a different strain of T. cruzi. And in, in past studies, what one has to do is to sample portions of tissues or take slices of tissues and hope that you will identify parasites if they're present in that particular sample that, that you're taking. With the light sheet, uh, fluorescence microscopy and the tissue clearing procedures allow us to do is to look through an entire organ uh, and multiple organs in, in the uh, animal so that with a combination of these techniques, we can see as few as one or two infected cells in an entire intact heart which may contain millions of uh, host cells.